can you record an action that includes neural filters in Photoshop? It seems that it sometimes work, but mostly doesn't. And according to the forums I've looked at, people can't quite figure out how to do it or if it's even possible. And the consensus seems to be that it's not possible, but it is, and I'm gonna show you how. Let me just explain what the, what the problem is. Um, after you start recording a new action, and then you go into the neural filters, uh, and you set them, and then you save them, and then you um, stop your action, when you go to play back your action with another photo that you want to apply the same neural filters to, it just doesn't work. Uh, you look at the original and the enhanced image, and they're identical. So what's going wrong here? Why isn't it working? So after a lot of trial and error, I figured out that you have to train the uh, actions in a different way. You can't just train it with one image. You have to train it with two images. One of them has to be portrait orientation. The other one has to be landscape orientation. But it's more than just that. These uh, files also have to have certain specifications. I'm recommending that you make them at least 50 megabytes in size. Also, the dimension should be about 4,000 by 3,000 or higher. In fact, I don't think there's an upper limit on what you can use. I, I think the, the bigger, the better. And then finally, uh, I've had more success when I use a TIFF file. So if you are using a photo from your uh, digital camera, um, just save it as a TIFF file. That will, in and of itself, increase the file size um, and, and that will uh, help. Finally, there has to be a face on the image. Now, generally, when you record your action, first you're gonna record, let's say, your portrait, and then later on in action number two, you are going to record your landscape image. But there is something else to consider. Uh, in my case, what I generally do is I set photo enhancement at about 30, and I set enhanced face at about 15. And that's what I wanna use for my general settings for when I sort of do this as an automated task. The problem is, is that if the if Photoshop um, Actions comes across a photo that doesn't have a face in it, it will sort of not know what to do and it will not apply any of the photo restoration filters. So what that means is that you have to create two steps. You have to create a, a step where you uh, enhance the photo, and then you have to create a second step where you enhance the face. And so basically what that means is that you'll end up with an action um, list, call it, like this. You'll have action one, which is landscape, and then you'll have a portrait action using your portrait photo to train it. So after you've created your actions, the next step is to get your photos ready. And because you have an action for landscape images and another action for portrait images, you're going to have to segregate your photos. So this can actually be done in the software Irfan view. Um, and um, once you open up any image with Irfan view, you press T and you get this thumbnail screen. Then you click options, sort thumbnails, and you select by portrait slash landscape. Um, there's another a step you have to take to uh, move the images. Once you have done that, then the next step is to go into the image processor in Photoshop. Um, select the uh, source folder, select the destination folder, decide if you want to save as JPEG, PSD, or TIFF, and then run the action. And so the action you have to run is either a uh, action one for landscape, let's say, or action two for portrait. Now you could avoid the business of sorting your photos by landscape or portrait. You could save that whole step if you do your actions in a different way. You see right now we have them set up as two different actions and you can invoke either action from the image processor. But what if you were to combine all four steps into one? It would look something like this. So in this case, we only have one action and the first uh, step is photo enhancement for landscape images. Second step is 
Enhance Face for Landscape Images. Third step is Photo Enhancement for Portrait. And the fourth step is Enhance Face for Portrait. Now you could do this, and in some ways it's easier because then you don't have to figure out how to uh, move your, your photos around before uh, getting them ready for processing. But what I found was that it is much faster to do the processing as two separate actions. Let's say you have a, uh, a landscape photo with some people in it. Well, steps one and steps two will make some changes to the photo. Steps three and step four won't make any changes to the photo. But it will take time to do steps three and four, essentially for nothing. So I think you can probably have the time it takes to do all your photos if you do it as two separate actions.